Hello, everybody. This is Francesco Rulli. I am the CEO of Querlo. I'm also the Forbes AI Solution Business Partner. I'm here today with uh, Professor Vincenzo uh, Vespri, uh, that is a professor of the University of Florence. Uh, so, Professor Vespri, if you can give us a little bit more information about your background and your work. Okay, my background I was a student uh, of mathematics in Pisa, Scuola Normale Superiore, that is uh, one of the most prestigious university in Europe. Then uh, I was doing my military service in the Italian Navy, and I was visiting uh, New York for the Liberty Parade uh, in uh, 1985. I have to remember uh, the year. Then I was uh, teaching at the University of Florence, uh, Milan, Rome. I was visiting professor in Northwestern University in uh, uh, Nashville, Vanderbilt University, in Australia, and uh, University of New South Wales, and so on. Uh, what uh, I was doing, I was doing pure mathematics. So uh, I was studying uh, partial differential equations. Then I uh, decided in this period of my life uh, to study more general things uh, that are history of mathematics. I am writing a book about history of mathematics. Then uh, I, have, uh, um, I am studying uh, the comedy by Dante Alighieri. This year is the seventh century that he was, of his death, celebration of his death. And uh, then I was studying book, blockchain, NFT, and this is also my future. My future is that the professor must be open to the students, open to the society, open to the progress. We are going to a liquid society and also university professor must be more liquid, less study of partial differential equation, more studies about the future. This is me. Fantastic. So Professor Vespri, you mentioned uh, uh, metaverse, uh, NFTs, uh, uh, this bring a conversation about uh, uh, what your students have done in the last few months with uh, the artificial intelligence of uh, Querlo. Uh, so what are your thoughts about the role of artificial intelligence and also the interconnection with metaverse and NFTs? for you know, your faculty or the students going forward? Uh, I think that the future of teaching will be very connected with the artificial intelligence. Uh, it, there was uh, this period of pandemia, and this was uh, uh, smart working, uh, uh, teaching at distance uh, and something. Some uh, university are considering this an handicap, other university, are considering this an opportunity, an opportunity to be open to a new way to, of teaching. And the way of teaching must use uh, the uh, artificial intelligence. The students have to, it's ended the period when the student had to study the formula, the calculation, they have to interact for a new world, a new society, and uh, the blockchain uh, technology the, uh, and all the other things are offering a new, a new kind of opportunity that is uh, difficult to understand now. One is sure that there will be opportunity, there will be a new way of teaching, and uh, the only way is to experiment uh, a new way. So I have a student of the first year of uh, uh, computer science and engineer, and I ask them to prepare a class uh, using artificial intelligence and using Querlo technology. So I have to thank Francesco Rulli for the opportunity. Thank you. And uh, I was, today I was doing an exam using this in order to see how the students are interacting. Okay, it's still something difficult because students think to be smart and the professor to cheating. In Italy, it's possible to cheat. In USA, it's not. But in Italy, it's like a, a challenge between the professor and the students, who is the smarter. In general, the students wins, but uh, win. But uh, okay. In this case, I'm trying to defend myself and I am trying to push students to learn mathematics, enjoying and doing some 
computer science as they are students of this uh, subject of this matter. Fantastic, very interesting. So earlier you mentioned uh, your studies of Dante Alighieri and the history of mathematics as you, you know, we developed the artificial intelligence of Michelangelo uh, in collaboration with the uh, Duomo Florence. What are your thoughts about uh, using artificial intelligence to bring a personage of history back to the present uh, and help uh, uh, students, but also regular people to interact directly with them uh, and ask them uh, pre uh, professional or personal questions? Well, I think that the future uh, will be a, a future of avatars in the sense that uh, we have artificial intelligence, we have people that is uh, uh, transmuting his cleverness, his intelligence to an avatar, and then uh, we are, we will be able to continue to speak, to reason with these people. In the sense, uh, the idea of immortality is not what uh, will be in the future for the moment. So it's not that we live uh, in uh, for a long, long life, but is quite sure that there is the possibility to uh, that we can live in an artificial intelligence. It's a different kind of life. And obviously, the people of the past, you cannot make them to have another life. But with their books, with their ideas, with their masterpieces, I think that we can imagine how would be uh, Dante when was in the life, how was Michelangelo. So I think now are the first attempt, but in 10 years, 20 years, we will have an hologram that speaks and reason like Michelangelo, like Dante, uh, like Einstein. So instead of a stupid class with Vincenzo Vespri, we'll be a very clever class with Einstein that he will speak to the students with an hologram, reasoning as Einstein. Be, so it's absolutely a future that we have no idea how could be, because it will be disrupting, essentially, this technology. And uh, still we have no idea how will be this future. This is um, what I think about. Perfect. Thank you very much, Professor Vesperi. This is very insightful. And I hope uh, that we continue the engagement with your students uh, uh, going forward. Thank you. Thank you.